Take two. Hey friends, today we are gonna be talking about the importance of storyboarding your music video. What they are, how to make them, all of that in this video. So I recently had the privilege of making a music video for Simone Miller. I'm Simone Miller. <laughs> for a song she wrote called Dry Eyes. If you guys still haven't seen the Dry Eyes music video, please click here? I'm new to this. Okay, so first I found a template on the internet. I'm looking for something with a proper camera image aspect ratio. I'm also looking for space underneath where I can write in details about the shot. Some directors prefer making a shot list first and then drawing what shots they want to in a storyboard. But for this music video, I did things the other way around because I have very strong visual images coming to me in my mind. I wanted to just get them down on a page. I've included a lot of information, things like wardrobe looks because there were several changes. I also included a spot for VFX and sync, whether or not the shot was going to involve a sync to track. In other words, was she going to be singing to the song or was she going to be acting? And that said, it doesn't need to be this detailed. Okay, so once I've completed drawing out my storyboards like this, I actually scan them. Then I open up my video editing software, import them in, and I'm able to create an animatic that puts all of the storyboards in a sequence on a timeline set to the music. I love the whispering in the beginning. Like, I got chills the first time I heard it. I was like, oh, that's perfect. Why did I make these? There's a few reasons why I do storyboards. We're gonna put up a side-by-side -side analysis and you guys can see how I went from this to the final product. So this is the first beat of the storyboard. I'm really happy with how the shot turned out. Like it looks amazing. I love how it like pans out slowly. So if you're dealing with a crew and a DP and producers and the artist, it's really important to be able to communicate so that they understand what you are trying to execute. It's really helpful to know exactly what you need to shoot so that you're not shooting something that you're never gonna use. There are a few images in here that I actually didn't end up shooting. I put these in sequence in my animatic, I watched it, I played around with the edit, and I decided I don't actually need that. Do more prep than you think is necessary. I think for new directors, up and coming directors, storyboards are really, really, really important because there's a certain level of confidence that they give you that you know that you're communicating the idea and people are gonna be on the same page. My name is Casey Altorf. I was the producer on Dry Eyes. When you have a captain at the head of the ship who knows where they're going, it just makes the whole process that much easier and especially when we're trying to do it in shallow water with lots of different uh, things to navigate, it's great to have somebody who knows where they're going and knows how to get there. This makes a huge difference in shooting more efficiently. You're gonna shoot less, and if you've crossed all of this off your list, at the end of the day, you could feel pretty confident that you executed on your idea. You're gonna end up with something closer to what you envisioned. I watched Corpse Bride and I just completely fell in love with like how gloomy it was in contrast to when she gets to like the underworld, which is like so colorful and I kind of wanted to incorporate some of that into the video just because it had a really big impact on me. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to have some kind of document that you can keep referring back to. For me, it's really easy to be distracted. You might get an idea that pops into your head in the moment based on where you are. You get this cool idea in the middle of shooting. I might allow myself a little bit of time to experiment and go away from the storyboards based on what's actually there. But ultimately it's a balance between shooting what you intended to shoot and then indulging that raw experimental creativity. And here we're kind of approaching the climax. We had this really boarded out in pretty much exactly the way we had imagined it. Yeah. I think this part is like obviously very emotional. You know, this is where she kind of realizes her purpose for being here and realizes like, you know, not exactly what she needs to do, but where she wants to end up. Mm. 
And that kind of brings me to my final point on why I think storyboards are really important. Anyone can grab a camera, go out the door, and start shooting something. These days especially, where we have access to incredible technology, but I think the difference between something that's effectively having an emotional impact on the audience is intention. I want you guys to go out and make videos that are really strong to create something meaningful. You know, that's more than just the technology, something that has a heart. I hope you learned a thing or two about storyboarding, maybe. I'm gonna be doing some follow-up videos later on about the production process, specifically how to make a music video on a shoestring budget. So stay tuned for more from this channel. We'll see you soon.